Hello, in this video I will be explaining the process for division using the formal method and we will be focusing on short division. So short division problems are usually expressed in this format and in this case we have a three digit number divided by a one digit number. Now when we use this method of dividing we look at the number outside here that we are dividing by, so in this case 8, and we look at the numbers inside, one digit in turn, and we see how many groups of 8 we can fit into that number. So to start with, we look at how many groups of 8 we can fit into 9, and we can get one group of 8 into 9. However, there is one left over. So that one that's left over, we bring over to the next digit to make a two digit number. So we are then looking at how many groups of eight we can fit into 15. Now again, that is only one. However, this time we've got seven left over. So we need to carry that seven over here. And finally, we look at how many groups of eight we can get into 72. Now we can work out that nine groups of eight make 72 and that fits exactly in. So the solution to 952 divided by eight equals 119. And we do that process every single time we see a division question. However, sometimes like this question down here, when we look at how many groups of seven we have to fit in, it's actually not possible to fit it into the first digit because we can't get a group of seven into five. So in this case, we actually carry over the whole number to the next digit along. And so we can look at how many sevens go into 55. Now, you can put a zero up here, but it's not necessary to put a zero up here. Um, that's personal preference. Uh, I will, won't be using it on this video. so. I'm going to look directly at how many sevens can go into 55. And I know that seven sevens are 49. So that will give me six left over, which I can put up here. So I can look at how many sevens will go into 63. And I know that nine lots of seven equals 63 exactly. So I will put it up there. and. I then have my solution that 553 divided by 7 equals 79. Now, sometimes you will see slightly larger questions where we've got a four-digit number divided by a two-digit number. Now, in these scenarios, it's sometimes difficult to keep a mental track of the multiples when you're counting in larger numbers. So I recommend writing them down at the side and writing down the first nine multiples because you won't ever need more than nine because how this uh, method of dividing works means that you will only ever get a one digit number as a solution to each step so i've pre-written in the multiples for both of these questions that we might need to help us so starting with the first question when we're looking at 4536 divided by 14 we first of all see how many groups of 14 can we fit into four? And we know we can't do that, so we carry that over. So we've now got 45 here for the second part. Now looking at how many 14s can fit into 45, we can actually count along our multiples. So the closest one to 45 without going past 45. So if we count along, that will be 42, which we can see is one, two, three lots of 14 so we can put a 3 up here now if we take the 42 away from our 45 we're left with 3 which we have to carry over to here so this time I'm looking at how many lots of 14 I can get into 33 and I can go back to my multiples and see that this time it's only 2 lots which is 28 and doing the same subtraction again I can see that I'm only le I'm left with five to bring over here. So finally, I'm looking at how many 14s can fit into 56. And going along my groups, I can see that 56 actually fits in exactly four times. So I can put that four up here. So I'm left with the solution of 324. 
Now, I can show you again on this question at the bottom, 6,509 divided by 23. Again, I've written down my multiples and I can see that 23 won't go into six. So I have to look at 65 now. I can see that the closest one is there, two lots. But that leaves me a remainder of 19, which I do have to put onto this zero to make 190. So looking at 190, I can see that that's eight groups, 184. Here is eight groups of 23. And doing that subtraction, I'm left with six to put up here. So finally, looking at how many 23s can fit into 69, I can again see that that's exactly three groups of the solution to that division is 283. Now, those are examples where all of the solutions are exact amounts. However, sometimes divisions don't go in equally and you're left with remainders. Now, there are different ways you can express a remainder. I'm going to show you in this video how to express it as a decimal and how we express it just as a remainder and explain the situations in which you may do those. So in these scenarios here, I'm going to express the remainder as a decimal and show you how we do that. So we follow the same process for division so starting by looking at how many groups of four can fit into four, which we know is one. How many groups of four can fit into seven, which again we know is one, but with three left over. If we look at how many fours can fit into 33, we know that eight fours are 32, so we're left with one again. Now, we know that four won't go exactly into 19. The closest that it will go is 16, which is four groups of four. However, there is three left over. So in this situation, we will put decimal points in and look at our placeholder zeros for our decimal points. And we put the three that's left over here. So we're looking at how many fours can fit into 30, which is seven. So we'll put that seven up there, but we do have a two left over still, which we carry over to the next zero. And we look at how many fours can fit into 20, which is exactly five. So there's nothing left to complete this division. So we can see the solution is 1,184.75. Now I'm going to put in these zeros first on this next question. And the reason we can do this is because these zeros are actually always here and they will go on for an infinite uh, number of places. But because they're all just zeros and they have no value in this number, we don't normally write them. But because we will need them with a question that has a remainder, I'm gonna put them in first. So looking at how many eights go into five, we know that doesn't work. So we can move the five over here. And how many eights go into 59? So seven eights are 56. So that will give us three left over. How many eights can go into 33? Well, four eights are 32. So we're left with one. And how many eights go into 15? Well, that is one, but we're left with seven, which we'll put straight over here behind the decimal point. And we just carry on. So how many eights can go into 70? Well, eight eights are 64. And so that will have us six left over here. Again, we know seven eights are 56. So that'll be four left over. And I know that five eights are 40, so that goes in exactly. So in this question, our solution is 741.875. Now, if you're working with larger numbers, the decimals could go on for a long time after the decimal point. And 
wouldn't be practical to keep going and sometimes they don't ever end. So you can just express as a remainder, which we will do here. So as we've got a four digit number divided by a two digit number again, I've written out these multiples for both questions to help speed up the process and make sure we don't forget where we're counting. So I know that 34 can't go into six. So I move that over, but only one lot of 34 will go into 64 because the next number is 68. So I am actually carrying over 30. So I'm looking at 309. Now I've got 306 here, which is nine lots of 34. So I can put nine up here and that does leave me with three once I subtract the 306 from the 309. So I'm finally looking at how many 34s going to 38. And again, I'm just on this one group of 34. But I am left with four as a remainder. So in that situation, I'll just write in a little r there for remainder and four. And with the question below, we're looking at 18s this time, and we know that 18 can't go into 7. So do put this 7 with this 0 to make 70. And you can see it can't be 4 because that's gone past 70, so it has to be 3 lots, which is 54, which does give us 16 to carry over. So we've got 166. And again, this time we're actually up to 9 again with 162 with four left to carry over and 18s into 41 we can see that two of those would be 36 but that would give us a remainder of five so we would express the remainders like that now using this method for dividing will work in any scenario whatever the numbers are whether you have a remainder or not so hopefully by looking through all of these examples will help you to be successful in dividing. So thank you very much for watching this video.